Hello, hello. Hey, this is uh, my first uh, live stream that I'm doing in uh, uh, in YouTube. Actually, um, it took me a second to figure out how to uh, to <laughs> set that up, but as you can see, uh, I've got the uh, application up and available. And, and as you can maybe also see, I'm I'm currently exporting um, a video that needs to go up on YouTube. Also, so this is going to be a little out of order, but the way I wrote all of this. In, uh, this is a chart on Groove and High, the Dizzy Gillespie tune, and um, all this business, including that weird key change in the bar four um, for readability. All that stuff is um, uh, going to go up as soon as this thing exports. I've got this recorded on my screen capture software. It's taken a long time. Uh, probably going to take another hour. Uh, to do that and then a couple hours to upload. So, because it's an hour and a half one, that's pretty long. It could be even longer than that. But, I uh, decided I wanted to start streaming uh, directly now. And um, I think this is going to work out. So, I'm going to go ahead and write. Um, but I do want to keep chat up. Um, how did that? Okay, let's see. Chat I could get by. Ah, I got to pause my own stream there. Um, yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So chat, where can I where can I keep chat? Um, you guys don't want to see my chat. Uh, that would be annoying for you, but I just got to say thanks to somebody. Um, I'm gonna figure that part of it out. Sorry, this is probably still a little bit annoying um, and not yet interesting. Uh, but I do want to discover. Uh, can I watch my own stream? There we go. Da, 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 da. Okay, see how far behind my stream is right now. But I just got to say thanks to somebody. Um, I'm gonna figure that part of it out. Sorry, this is a problem. Okay, so I just watched myself for a second. I'm just gonna check to see if I can find the chat. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'll keep uh, I'll keep that up, um, invisible on the side, so that I can uh, so I can check in if, if anybody's around to chat. All right, cool. So here we are. Um, written some on the uh, on the uh, intro to this tune, and to recap, the um, the plan has been uh, to start with. Let's see. Ooh, I'm also gonna want the head of the tune available in my. I need to make that visual visible to me too. Sorry, this is not starting very interestingly, but in the future. And nobody's watching that, just myself. So, <laughs> yeah, you'll be able to um, uh, you'll you'll be able to fast forward to where it gets interesting, hopefully. Um, so I'm gonna need to bring up. I'm gonna try to bring up YouTube on the side so I can have the chat going. There we go. Now I have the chart and the chat. And can I make those integrated? In my Sorry, this is a question of whether my iPad can do a thing. And it doesn't look like it wants to do that. Oh, there it is. Good. It does do that. Yay. Okay, so I've got it. I've got it real good. So right now, the uh, Groove and High, I've got a lead sheet in front of me just to kind of remind me what I'm doing on that. Um, got something to drink. Got my keto fat bombs here to keep me, uh, <laughs> keep me focused. And um, I'm all set. So... I'm going to write this chart. And uh, what does it do right now? Well, and that's the downbeat of the tune normally. I took that that intro, Dizzy's intro on this, um, and just expanded it quite a bit. It's going to do a little thing. And literally last night, as I was kind of coming up with this stuff, this is the way I was singing it. Real, <laughs> just basically just super loose, like, yeah, this is roughly what I'm accomplishing here. Um, oh, yeah, that was correct in that spot. Uh, and uh, went through the, I wrote the lead line, kind of decided roughly on what the rhythms ought to be, made a couple changes in the process there. Wrote a bass line kind of arbitrarily, and then... Um, uh, and then went in and, and 
not, not totally arbitrarily. I mean, I, I was trying to make some decisions that I thought would be musical, and I was peeking up above at the melody to make sure I wasn't doing something that was just going to be impossible to fill out, and then filled out the harmony. Um, and so we don't have the full intro done, because last night, the, the first video is going to be kind of funny, uh, because literally I just stopped all of a sudden. Something um, I heard something, and it surprised me. And uh, uh, I ended up having to, uh, to jump out of the process there. So um, anyway, hey, Brian, uh, buddy Brian Raymond there. Says, love your work as always. I had a blast with Lace Skull and Rolling the Deep this year as well. A bunch of others would love to reach out about under commission Fox for at some point. I think, I think you're on my list. Uh, I'm not going to bring up my list right now. That would be weird. Uh, but I, I, I believe, uh, I believe I'm intending for you guys to be one of the 15 that I'm writing this summer. Um, because I didn't get to it last year, or maybe even the year before that we planned on doing it. So, uh, yeah, man, I hope we get to do that. Uh, I, I want to write you that chart. So, super cool, man. Um, so here's what this one's doing. This is for Hutch Juco. I keep saying Hutch Juco. Uh, Hutchinson Community College in, uh, in uh, Hutchinson, Kansas, and that's uh, my friend Neil Loss of directs a group called Badinage that's really, really great. They were at the Gen Conference um, this past January and knocked it out of the park. Did a whole bunch of commissions that they'd written or that I'd written for them over the, over the years. Um, so pretty neat. All right. I don't like that my uh, mixer is completely screwed up right now. I didn't want to play you the original or, or the, uh, the chart in progress, but I need to get I don't, I think I'm just going to use the, uh, yeah, not the ensemble vocals. I'm just going to use electric piano. Hey, oh, Level High School, no way. <laughs> Level High School Chamber Choir, what's up? Shout out. <laughs> That's awesome, you guys. I'm, I could, if I threw a baseball pretty good, I could probably make it to your school right now. Um, just right down the corner from me here. I'm in uh, West-ish Greeley. <laughs> like I'm gonna have so many people trying to come stalk me in my house. Um, cool. Thanks a lot, Alexander. Appreciate it, man. Huh. That is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that doesn't even make that doesn't make sense to me yet. Actually, there's there's a little bit of a problem. I'm not loving. Um, uh, yeah, let me answer this. Uh, Brian says, uh, um, yeah, yeah, we'll chat about that. Are you gonna upload some new charts to the library soon? Yes, I'm behind on that, and that's it's because I'm waiting for licenses. It's um, it's taking longer than ever to get licensing done. So, yes, uh, I have about I think 14 or 15 new charts to add. Plus, I'm going to write some in the early summer, I intend to at least, um, on here, uh, that'll end up going right up. Um, th th there'll be ones that I'll have licensed and stuff. So um, so anyway, yes, uh, but that, that's slowing things down a bit. So I'm hoping that my uh, my clients, <laughs> my customers who like to buy some of the charts that are new every year, um, that they don't mind hanging in for a couple months or so, because um, it, it might, might take a little bit of time to get that stuff put up. I, I've been aiming always for the end of May. Uh, to have all the new music up, and it's not going to be quite ready this year. So um, uh, there is a new one that we're in the middle in the recording process. There's a new one from uh, Accent, um, uh, a tune all at once, Whitney Houston tune. We have the rights to that one. Um, I mean, to publish it, and uh, so that one will be up sooner rather than later, actually. Um, but yeah, it, they're they're going to be kind of rolling out probably as the licenses come in. Um, Yes, yes, yes. All right. Um, so what I noticed that I didn't seem to notice last night, maybe the playback's louder. I'm going to turn it up on my end. Um, I didn't, this, this flat nine relationship between the A flat and the pedal, I mean, I know about that. That's the nature of these modal things. But the fact that it jumps up made, made it really nasty. Listen to this again. Ba -da. That's terrible. Uh, but I wonder if we'll perceive it less if, yeah, I th if we'll perceive it less if it's down the octave and the bass, it might be better. 
That still might not do the trick, though. Um, I think it might also have to do with the fact that we're lining up the rhythms in, in this, uh, in the alto tenor bass. No. Okay, that's okay. I, I think we can hang with that. It's far enough away from being an actual flat nine that um, I think I think the modal stuff is going to work on it. So, um, yeah, the the program is just glitchy right now. It's 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 not grooving very high. Uh, something is weirding me out about the F thirteen sharp eleven. I think it'll sing okay, coming from. Um, that's gonna be fine, uh, but it's not. It's, it just doesn't sound great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's just a little strange that it does that, but I think that'll that'll pay off. This um, descending thing, if I don't reuse this, I would have to get rid of it in the intro. You know, we, because it would be weird, right, that you just hear, dun, 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 dun. you kind of went, or of that thing, maybe a different key now. It's, so I've got to do something with it later. Um, so don't let me forget. But it goes away right away, and so in that way, it's maybe, maybe, we, maybe we're thinking it's kind of like the, um, the overture in a a musical or something like that. Because hopefully we get some of these ideas to come back. Oh, weird. Uh, they... If they're going to breathe here... You know what? Let's have them... Let's have them blow through this. I didn't kind of consider that last night, apparently. So I'm, not, I'm still not done with the intro here. Mm. Yeah, the modality of the, the fact that this is like really quickly changing um, tonal centers, or uh, that that's definitely going to be tricky on the ears. I remember I, I I was about to make a decision about how to write this, what I think is going to be A minor and B four here, and then that's where I stopped last night. I was a little distracted by something. Um, but I think my big issue is I couldn't come up with a hip voicing for the guys um, coming out of. Um, I have to have that. Maybe I can do this. Um, I don't know. Um, no, no, no. I need that nine. nine. Oh, that's a pretty good voicing. Okay, let's do that one. Okay, so slightly different. Yeah, that's gonna work better for A minor. Okay, and then but do oh yeah yeah, and I hadn't yet changed this, but I meant to. I was gonna do another so and uh, change the the rhythm of the lead part there. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, let me double check really quick. Still. Since this is brand new, I'm gonna see if this is up to date. Yep. Okay, and then do. Okay, good, 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 good. It's behind by a little bit. I'm noticing the stream. You know, they. Uh, the stream is probably maybe is it like 10 seconds or more behind, but roughly we're doing the same thing together. Okay. So yikes! What is this? I mean, I, I have I reserve the right to not have that be. Be natural. Um, so I think this is going to be E thirteen sharp. We'll see. Yeah, E thirteen with stuff. Um, It's got that nine in the lead. 
And then this, yeah, this works as the alt. Uh, this works as B7 alt. Um, wait, you see how slow it is? I, or you probably can't tell, but if you can hear, if you can hear my typing, the computer's really slow. Oh yeah, well, because it's doing a whole bunch of stuff. Aside from streaming, I'm still I'm halfway through exporting last night's video, uh, and that won't be the upload. I'll probably do that. That's ridiculous to try to upload a video while I'm streaming. Yeah, I shouldn't do that. I, I might be able to pull it off, but it just seems rather cavalier. <laughs> um, I don't think I need this to be in the second layer, actually. I think all of this, can I select all of it and put it in the first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I can just, I can just hide this layer three thing. But yeah, actually, they can all be hitting together. But do, eh, eh. Okay, what's a good voicing uh, coming out of this? Uh -huh. For A minor, first of all. Um, sorry, pardon me while I pull up the, this is, a, this is my behind the scenes thing, but they don't show in this streaming view, that doesn't show uh, how many viewers we're doing, um, although this will do, and it'll show that, oh yeah, well essentially I'm on my own here. Okay, that's fine. That is okay, although I'm going to reload, it'll cause this to, um, Oh, you know what? I haven't tweeted this out. Sorry. Pardon me while I pull up the... This is a, excuse me. I haven't tweeted this out. Let me go uh, throw this up on Twitter real fast. Um, uh, actually, share Twitter. I'm just going to do this. Uh, get rid of that. say I'm doing a live stream currently capitalized on YouTube to arrange oops arrange <laughs> grooving Tweet that out. Um, and the other way of promoting that would be to let everybody know on the old Facebook, since I haven't left it like I said I wanted to. Um, is that a thing? Can I put that on Facebook? Oops. Uh, let's see. Will that work? Oh, yeah. Post to Facebook. Um, Live on YouTube, arranging groove and high for Neil Alsup. Is that going to let me tag him? For at Neil Alsup? It's not going to let me tag him in this. Uh, for Hutchinson. This is badinage. Actually, I might just leave that part of it out um, for folks. Okay. And bank. Cool. All right. And there's three people for that reason. So thank you, Twitter, and then maybe the uh, Facebook. So anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry, this this part of it is uh, is very is starting to be kind of preliminary, but I am now officially thinking about chords. Um, so here we go. What we're doing is I uh, need to find a good voicing for P7 Alt into E13, uh, sharp 11. Uh, let's find our landing chord first. Uh, so what would be... Uh, so tertian structure in the upper voices. Should I let those? Huh. We'll see what the enharmonics are going to look like by the end of this. Um, but, you know, 
boy, it wouldn't possible. I'd like for, I'd like for an actual. Um, I don't know. I just like it to actually be <laughs> the correct. If, to be if it's a sharp key, you know, I'd like to have sharps. Um, so now I've just gone. So it's definitely going to, which is going to work pretty well uh, for them. Uh, should be okay. Let's see. They're on C going to A natural. That's all right. Um, so the upper structure here is going to be uh, um, what do I got? Yeah, that's not. Yeah, of course, just a half step move. Okay, so we got it. Um, let's just listen to the, the last few moments of the intro and see what's up. Hmm. So did we hear E flat 13 so recently that that's actually a worse option than uh, than going to B flat? I actually, it could be that uh, just doing the real dominant is going to be the better choice there. So let's listen to the intro again. Okay, um, hmm. we can always go back. But, Down, boom, bop, something like that. It's okay. Ba, uh, oh, I'm not watching chat. Hi, chats. Hi, chatters. Anybody chatting? Hey, Hunter. Hey. Oh, why don't I say your first name? Oh, oh, you're coming from the Netherlands. Yay. I can't wait to be there with you guys at uh, Vocal Jazz and Pop Days. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm not going to, I'm not going to test out what I think, how, how to pronounce your name properly because, uh, but I, I'll bet it's really cool. <laughs> nice to meet you, uh, and uh, Hunter. Oh, Hunter, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been in touch. All right. Thanks for coming on. I'll uh, I'll be in touch with you too because I, th I think I owe you a, a contact. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, let's just do this. Boom, bap. And then what? By the way, is this top chat? I want all all chat available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good. All right, thank you guys, thank you. I will, I will stop being so meta and eventually do the work. All right, um, uh, yeah, so let's listen to it before we make the final decision. Uh, does that voicing work for B flat 13? Anyway, I just wanna to test this out. Okay, eh, it's gonna be B flat. Um, so yeah, it, that would make it B flat seven alt. And so we're just doing this and we are going to go ahead and use flats in our inharmonics. Uh, all right. I think, I think I'm okay moving on for now and, and starting to think about what this tune is going to be. So, uh, let me just break the melody. Um, that would be less interesting for my streaming audience, but it's so slow. I, I can't. I can't tell if you will be able to see on your end why that, that, that my computer is really laggy, but it's doable. It's not going to ruin everything, but. 
I'll fix the enharmonics back there in a second. This is not gospel. Uh, I might change some of this. Go ahead and do that. Right, figure here. Um, Uh, what am I doing? I lost my place in the melody, and I'm just, all I'm doing is, is just taking it off the lead sheet. Uh, Sorry, I lost my place completely, and I can't get back. Oh, there it is. That's why it didn't sound right to put that in. Oh, come on. Come on, Marshall. Okay, that's singable, and that's what the melody really is, so. So the concept here is going to be, I did it again. It's actually the slow computer that's the main reason here. It's because it's processing a video from last night that I'm going to post to YouTube. Um, well, when I stop this stream for at least taking a break. Uh, I'm gonna simplify the by you better than data. Um, uh, so it's just gonna be Yeah, in fact I'm gonna do something even more interesting with this. Um, yeah, that'll be like a B flat dominant. That'll be like B flat alt there and um, no, that's the move. Um, ah, boy, it's really glitchy. I do think that'll that'll change once I stop uh, Capto uh, from exporting, and it's getting it's getting there. <clears throat> I'm sorry, this is embarrassing. I have no control over my desktop here. Um, so B flat seven alt and double bar. Do I need a double bar in the middle of this at all? Uh, is it good to just include this all, the first half of this all in one? I think it's probably okay. I think it's how you rehearse it. Okay, so what's really happening here is um, is I made the decision last night that this section was going to be. Um, unis or is yeah, octave unis and octave stuff with the bass, drum, uh, drums on brushes going, you know, just kind of filling in between, playing, uh, playing time. Uh, can't decide what to do with piano, and well, maybe to leave them out. Um, uh, leave the piano player out or have them do stuff in response or play in unison. I don't know, I haven't, I haven't decided yet. Uh, exactly how to handle that, but I do know that the bass is going to play the melody, and that is officially the, the melody. Uh, although, and then I think, yeah, I think B is going to walk. I think that's what it needs. B, B is just going to go into being the tune. So, um, how much of this is brutal to play? They've got a really good bass player at, at Hutchinson. I played with him when I, I was in the rhythm section. I sat in. Um, their pianist couldn't make uh, the Gen Conference gig, and uh, so I sat in and played with them. And man, they have a really talented bass player there. Carly, it's my gal. What's up? One of our own. You must be up in the 
on the East Coast. Oh yeah, I know. Hang with us. Oh, and Dan. <laughs> What's up, Dan? Holy, oh, I love it. I love the chat. There's no way this is gonna be interesting for, for everybody for a really long time, so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you might, you might dig the process. If you're into, uh, if you're into the jazz arranging and everything. Dan, I'm happy to see you, man. Almost as cool as a shiny Charmander. Absolutely not as cool, though. You're right, it is not there. Shiny Charmander is the, is the best because there is no cooler shiny in Pokemon than shiny Charizard. And I think everybody who's, anybody who's everybody knows that. <laughs> uh, let's do 4 p.m. in Jersey, of course. <laughs> I hadn't tried to do the math yet. Um, I think this is just a upper structure triad. So hey, Carly. So what I'm doing for this alt chord, you may have already worked this out in theory, uh, but what I'm doing is writing a G flat triad, uh, with you know the flat six triad for the uh, to get the alt, uh, um, the alt sounds there uh, on this, and I've got third and seventh in the guys. It's what you do a lot. Now, I don't know exactly how the rest of the guys are going to do this. Are they going to go good? Da, da, da. Um, I don't know. But I just kind of wanted to throw that in because it's definitely a destination. Um, once again with the intro, um, just to give me a little mental break. Let me just check them out. Swinging. <laughs> ah. right. Okay. All right. Buddy, that. That's. I, I, I was thinking of this. Buddy, that. I don't know why I was rushing that in my brain, but yeah, that, that's it's playable, by, especially by Hutch's bass player. Hey, so um, I just uh, saw Bailey and Kincaid uh, from Hutch uh, uh, just uh, check in. So, hey, I'm writing notes for literally you, I presume. I imagine you're in Badenage. If you're not in Badenage, maybe, well, I presume I'm writing for you guys right now. So isn't that weird? So I just write whatever, and you have to sing it. <laughs> uh, and Tyler says, uh, part of the Martinsville High School Jazz Choir, and wanted to say we all love listening to your comments. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, did, uh, um, did a little bit of adjudicating in the spring, and I uh, appreciate that. I'm, I'm glad you dug it. I, I hope it was helpful. Um, you never know. Uh, if uh, how all that stuff will be received, really. So, of course, there'll be scat syllables on all this. Um, <laughs> i got to decide what else this is, um, aside from just unison and drums and the bass playing with it. Um, oh, and the other thing, oh, it's going to give me red notes all day long. I don't, ugh, ugh, because it thinks it's an alto staff. Um, I don't really remember how to deal with that. Let me, let me see. Um, is there a choice? No, I don't have a choice for that. There is a wow, way to change that. Um, colors. Yes, we are. <laughs> um, Hunter's asking. Um, yeah, so in other words, Bailey is confirming. That, yeah, we're you're, you're writing for us. Um, Hunter is asking, do you use automatic dynamic offset placement? Um, no. <laughs> Uh, you could you could send me an article about that, and I, I'd be happy to learn about it. Maybe it'd be a good choice. But um, no, I'm not hip to that. Uh, I, I, I'm not exactly sure what that is. Might be totally down to learn. So that's not how I change the color. I, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this the easy way. Sorry, I'm going to take another. It's another setup moment here early on. Um, but I'm going to add an actual baritone staff, bass baritone staff, and just move everything over. I haven't done much yet, so. Uh, add that to the score, put it right there. 
I'm just going to do it. Okay, uh, fine, whatever. Um, select everything. Straight up copy. Parsed. And boom. I have predetermined, Bailey and Kincaid, that your chart is... What did I say? How many bars long? Uh, it's 256 bars long. I know exactly. Uh, <laughs> it's not true. Okay. I'm going to eventually get rid of this, so I'm going to make this look the same. Center, base. Uh, and Hunter says, what I mean by that is placing dynamic is automatically avoid collisions between notes. Yeah, it avoids collisions um, automatically. So yeah, it is doing that. Um, maybe are you finale guy? I'm wondering. Um, Sibelius uh, does a similar thing, like the magnetic mode or whatever. I don't, can't remember if that's finale's term, but I think that's, yeah, that's what we talk about in Sibelius. Um, and it, so yeah, it helps get, get things out of the way, uh, but you can see, oh yeah, 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 I know why you're saying that, because of the coloring, uh, because you were seeing like red because of the collision and stuff. Uh, that's actually why I don't want these to show up, because the reason this is showing up is it used to be an alto part, I took it from a template that this was an alto line, then I said, oh, just put a bass clef, call it tenor bass, it'll be fine, except yeah, altos don't want to sing low E's and E flats and stuff. So it, it's telling me, hey, this is out of range, um, and Hunter does use finale, yeah, yeah. Um, I was a finale man for, you know, the beginning of uh, all along my time, and it started acting really weird for me around 2007 and, and doing some, like, crazy, crazy stuff, and I eventually switched over to uh, Sibelius, and I've been pretty happy uh, since then. Although I'm, I'm, I own I own finale, and I'm not a, not a snob against it, I promise. And, um, I, I, you know, uh, one of my colleagues is uh, Socrates Garcia. Uh, Garcia is a real specialist in finale, and so at UNC we've got... Uh, we've got somebody who uh, can help everybody on the arranging side. Well, and Eric Applegate is, is uh, skilled at that stuff too, I believe, uh, who also teaches arranging. I teach the vocal jazz arranging at my school. Um, okay, blah, 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 Um So fix that annoying thing. The Sopranos are just, it's just going to be that way because for some, really does it think in, uh, do, anyway, I, I don't mind those notes showing up that way, but I just didn't want to see a whole page full of it. Constantly. Um, okay, so gosh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this, this, it feels like this is maybe where I want to start getting the piano to become involved. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna make some decisions about what the piano is gonna do in response. Yeah, it's gonna be. Wait. Oh yeah, and then beat four. Um, have them play two hands, octaves. Boy, when is this going to be done? Because it is really slowing my machine down. And letting things like that happen. <laughs> okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to write like a um, response line. Yeah. Yeah. So they just have a, a, a line that kind of fills in the gap there. Um, and then, hmm, this could be, I think I have a piano go ahead and join on this figure playing the same thing except then yeah except piano keeps going 
what would sound good. Yeah. Um. And then. Okay, that's, that's the move, I think. Kobe Ford. Hey, Carrie, also from Girl Hutch, Kansas. Thanks for the stream. I'm really glad. I, when I put out the FaceTube thing, I wasn't able to. FaceTube? <laughs> Uh, when I put up uh, the Facebook link, um, I, for some reason, wasn't able to tag Neil, and so glad you all are all over that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I, I wanted to, one of you cats to get to see it. I didn't even really tell Neil I was going to start it. By the way, fat bomb time here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ketogenic diet, baby. For the win. Okay, boo, boo, wee, boo, boo, boo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, if nobody's watched the first video, um, those of you watching live, um, I'll just catch you up on this idea that um, I struggled for a little while about what what mental approach to take with this, and, and ultimately decided to kind of hear it in my head as it was going forward, as like a Rob McConnell, you know, uh, big band. Uh, chart. Oh, he's, uh, so Neil told you about it. So he's probably <laughs> good. I'm glad Neil saw that. Um, so uh, that, the idea that I've got right now, uh, the concept that I'm kind of working with right now is that uh, that it's that it's going to have this is going to feel like a big band chart, which works for vocal jazz, obviously. Um, Ooh, you know what would be good? Um, I th think I can make this work with the tritone sub, and I can still get some of what I was doing earlier. Da -da. No, no, simpler. So, I uh, don't know. Well, I don't know how to handle the alto second soprano here, but but I think they need their own notes. So let's see. And if I was, if this were slow, what would I do? <laughs> That's all. They just they just come down. Which is okay. And then, dun, dun, dun. yeah. And so Carly says, so you're writing this stuff. You're writing a big band chart. Um, it's in my head that way, and the, it's it's a it's kind of it's kind of deep because the the big band process, big band writing process would be different uh, in a bunch of ways as as you work out. Um, in other words, uh, you could start with, uh, you know, you you basically, if, if I'm writing in the big band, I probably am writing on a six stave, six staff chart, um, and I'll be thinking like saxophones in two staves and a grand staff at the top, and then top brass on the treble clef, and then bass clef has the, I mean, you know, trumpets, <laughs> top brass, trumpets, and then below that I have the uh, trombones. Rhythm section gets their own two staves and any hits and stuff like that, and then you make a bunch of notes, and then you explode that eventually. That makes you write kind of sectionally. Uh, you know, a lot of people like to go straight to score with big band writing. So this is, I mean, this isn't that necessarily. Um, it's it's not that I'm going about it the same process, but I'm I'm uh, rather than I don't know rather than reinvent the wheel and try to come up with some really crazy wacky thing to do with this. I want this to swing and sound good for the group and and. Uh, uh, I don't know of a chart on Groove and High in the vocal jazz world, and, and so I don't feel like I have to do anything uh, that, that, like I said, reinvents a wheel, does, does anything really, really crazy with it. Um, although I want it to be challenging for the group, they need a level five chart because they can do that kind of stuff. Talking to you, Bob Nash. Um, <laughs> I think they would prefer that, actually. I really do think that, and I don't, I don't think there's a whole lot of turnover in their group. I think it's going to be really strong. 
uh, group of singers this year at that school. So, yeah, I want to give them, give them some interesting stuff to do. So, yeah, starting unison is, is not the hardest thing I could do. Uh, but everything doesn't have to be. It just needs to be musical. It doesn't need to be super challenging. By the way, syllables, man, it's one of the last things I'll do. Unless, unless, and you'll find me you're getting into this, if I get to a point where uh, I don't know what to do next, I'll kind of kill some time by going back and... Uh, I just realized... Oh, um, I'll, I'll go back in and and uh, do some of that work to kind of kill time later. Okay, so... Okay, now I think we're, we're like, bass is walking here. We've got, like... Yeah. I actually haven't even decided how I'm gonna how I'm gonna treat the harmony on this. Too. Uh, because the melody makes it. Well, here, let me show you something. Got to check out. Go to Voice Race. Hey, man, of course. Thanks a lot, Hunter. Um, now, I realize what... Uh, I, I kind of need to finish the melody. I haven't been... Oh, I'm not in schematic mode. Carly, uh, one of your assignments is going to be later. <laughs> um, that's right, man. Yeah, w one of your... Um, Assignments ultimately will be to write a schematic, and I'm kind of not doing the schematic proper. Uh, it'll be to like write the whole chart and decide on all your make make all your choices. Um, I haven't done that here. I could. I could. I could kind of stop filling things in as I go and, and just get the rough ideas down. Um, but uh, for the moment, uh, I'm deciding to just kind of chunk away at this. Uh, leaving some things to be done later, dynamics, articulations, uh, syllables uh, to be done later. So that's just that's just one way of doing it. Um, let's see. Let's see. This is the same up to this point. I'm just going to copy and throw the melody in here, and then finish the melody of the the head. Um, that is a little schematic-y um, because I'm thinking of, again, schematic being like a minimal, like just the melody and the bass line uh, and all that. You say, boom, da, 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 da. so then, um, da, da. okay, the original just does this. Um, I gotta do something interesting. Okay, and then um, I'm not sure, but I'm changing the rhythm of the melody here. Um, <coughs> not putting the altos that low. Oh, I haven't changed the inharmonics of that, that of the melody bit yet, which I kind of wanted to do. Let's see. So this is going to be a similar approach, but I might go ahead and reharmonize it. But it'll be a similar approach to the way the sort of uh, definitive Dizzy Gillespie recording does. They um, don't go straight into solos immediately, if I remember right. Uh, okay, yeah, for breathing's sake, um, I'm just going to write some figures in that um, eventually I could uh, make some ensemble hay with. <laughs> that can be till one, I think. Um, like, hello? Hello? 
do da da. One, two, da da do da is what I meant to do. It's funny to me that people think I'm fast at this. <laughs> I mean, really, honestly, look at this. I mean, just creeping away at it. I, which, again, slow TV is pretty popular right now, which is why I don't mind putting this up. Um, <laughs> It's gonna be slow. That's almost gotta be. It's, I picture a solo break happening at the end of this quick uh, send off. Uh, and then we have bar line. I am nearly certain that this will be, ah, nearly certain that I want that there. Um, I'm nearly certain that this is going to be, well, come on now. Can I try this again? Anyway, I think it'll be the repeat, it'll need to be a start of the repeat section, um, or start repeat because uh, it'll be a solo section and it's likely to be opened up for improv. Um, yeah, so there's a little there's a little send off at the end there. Um, I guess I am kind of I guess I am kind of doing a, a schematic approach here because I I don't feel like necessarily going back and finalizing everything here yet. I haven't written the piano in the beginning, just kind of leaving things uh, as inspiration uh, kind of leads me to do. So now. Um, just for my own convenience, I'm going to write the changes in it, the, the actual changes of the tune in above. Um, uh, above the vocal line, um, I'm not not aiming to reharmonize the the head of the tune in this arrangement. <laughs> it just acts so funny. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. I should decide on this. This is a decision point. Um, so, uh, you know, like the lead sheet I'm looking at, it has um, you know two beat harmonic rhythm. But um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do the same thing. So it's some kind of D7. Fix the enharmonics as I go. And so this will also, this will be right. Although I think I'm gonna do something that in the, I don't know. The ensemble is gonna be in harmony here. Um, so I'll go ahead and let it hit there. Um, sorry, I, I, when I really don't know what I'm doing, I get weird with the talking for sure. Um, let me finish the changes. Um, G minor seven. Da -da -da. Mm, mm, mm. So boring to watch, I have to imagine that bit. Um, <laughs> Let's see. I've been watching a lot. I have to admit to you, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been doing this for a few years now, where I stream the the process. Um, for a couple, of, yeah, like uh, maybe last summer I didn't do any streaming, but I posted videos or something, and I'm thinking about doing the same thing this year. But man, I started watching all these Twitch streamers. Um, you know, I I've watched the Fortnite guys, and I've I've. I've I've been really, really fascinated with that, uh, Dr. Disrespect and all that, and uh, Ninja and everybody. It's got me really interested in um, this idea of, uh, of content that's so specifically aimed at people who would nerd out about a thing like this. Uh, still, I don't know if I would find it interesting to watch somebody to do, uh, you know, somebody to write this slowly, so I feel like I should pick up the pace. Um, and not just about it being interesting, but I literally need to write music. Uh, some kind of a, I always think it's probably going to be a 13 chord. Uh, and then, yeah, just finish this out, F minor 7. Uh, Thank 
Q. Uh, B flat thirteen sharp eleven. I think is really what I want to call that. My favorite Twitch streamer. Um, I mean, I, I, Dr. Disrespect is really amazing with the way he produces his. I think it's really, it's pretty funny and, um, you know, it's good gaming people he has on are good. So I, I, I think Dr. Disrespect is, is probably my favorite of, of those streamers. I, Ninja's close second. I like all the guys that are kind of in that circle, though, like Dr. Lupo. I'm telling you, I've watched a bunch of it. I'm not good at playing shooter games at all. Um, it's hard to be in the mood for that sort of thing with the, the way the gun situation has been, you know, obviously. But uh, the, the, I don't see trainer tips right there. <laughs> it's a Pokemon Go thing. Yeah, I think I'm a gamer dude, kind of unapologetically, um, as an old old guy. Um, and uh, I mean, I grew up in that. I'm playing uh, MLB The Show right now uh, on my off time just to take breaks and stuff, and it's incredibly fun. Incredibly fun. That's so much fun. It, it's a grinding game, though, so how in the heck do you grind if you you got to write and record 15 charts in the summer and otherwise do, you know, things to prepare for the next year of teaching and all that and be healthy and take some vacation time, you know, be a, be a, <laughs> be a husband, you know. So, um, it's a, it's it's definitely uh, it's definitely challenging, but I've been really interested in the in the genre quite a bit. Thanks for asking. So, all right. So, what is this? This is uh, now. It's time to go ahead and write the rest of the bass line. Oh no. Yeah, see I wrote it dum bum 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 bum. Ah That's gonna work. Because it, yeah, the G flat lines up with the melody. Know what to do here. Yeah, just I'll break. I'll, I'll do a little bit of stop time. Next section isn't going to be what the original does. I, I kind of don't want to play it for um, YouTube purposes. I think it's possible that just naming the thing "Grooving High" and then having music going will will you know cause problems with it. I don't care about monetization at all. Obviously, I mean, oh, Carly, what's my mental? Uh, it's just what's your mental process uh, when writing bass lines? Are you trying to hit any specific guide or color tones? Yep. Um, so. Yep, 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 yep. Very good question. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull these chords down. Um, uh, deep, 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 so we can look at it better. So dig what's what's up here. I, I don't know if this is, this isn't like perfect or something, but, but it's, it's going to be functional. Um, yeah, I'm, what, what you'll notice is on the, all the downbeats, everything, every moment where the uh, chord's changing, um, 
you know, E flat, it's hitting exactly right. A minor, D, we have to have those in those spots. Uh, this got skewed it a little bit because up there, I was thinking of it as an and three hit, which it will kind of be. But anyway, yeah, D hits with it. So they, they all agree, right? C, G, I mean, you're at least covering, you're at least doing that. And in cases where you have harmonic rhythm of, what well, okay. I'm about to, I'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself. The, the, the next thing to consider is what's the note that leads into um, one of these downbeats. And so G sharp, you know, half step or whole step in either direction usually is, is going to work. And it doesn't have to necessarily agree with the previous chord of the moment. So E flat major seven, it's okay to write a G sharp into the, uh, you know, to the A minor uh, starting point there. So that's the other thing you know about. And with, when you've just got two, when you got two chords per bar, you, I mean, you're, you're done basically, you know what you're doing. So I've got this note and I know that this note B3 needs to be there. I can't tell if, do you guys see, I can't tell if you have like anything highlighting my, the, the cursor. I don't think you have that. Um, so, um, don't, don't, don't. so the idea is, uh, you, you want to have it be smooth in getting, uh, getting into all of its downbeats, right? When, when you've got, so, so anyway, boom, boom, boom. So what I do, uh, half step, uh, E flat, which is not an A minor, but you can do this with it. This is a special sort of thing that's allowable. Uh, for writing a bass line. You can write so E flat into uh, D. It's a pretty strong way to do it. I could have gone uh, E natural there and it's going to agree better. Oh good, you can, see, okay, you can see the cursor. Okay. You know, the reason I say that is with uh, when I was doing another streaming thing, anyway, there was like a there was like a yellow circle around it and I just made it really clear. I don't know if I have that choice with I'm using a new thing. It's actually a gamer streamer thing. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, so again, half step A flat into this. I'm going to actually call it G sharp getting into there, which is the same way I did it before. And which, for which reason, I'm going to not do that. I'm going to call it uh, B flat going down into this. Again, a little bit of variety uh, in the line makes it seem more improvised. And by the way, I don't assume, especially the guy who's actually going to play this, uh, because he's a good bass player, um, he's not going to read my line necessarily. He's going to read the changes and kind of actually hate it that I've got those notes there, but I, I always do that uh, kind of for the long-term use of the chart, uh, because good to have written out bass line and piano parts as much of a pain as it is to write them. Um, makes us, you know, it's good for marketing, essentially. <laughs> it's good for being able to sell your, your music to somebody. Okay, but so the, the only thing I haven't solved here is what happens when we don't have two chords per bar, and yeah, you can see just kind of, uh, this I made kind of an arbitrary, Jump instead of doom 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 doom, which or doom 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 doom, just walking up or down in a, in a line, or doom 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 or doom doom doom, doing some arpeggio or line thing. Uh, another thing you can do is jump, so doom 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 doom, and that put the fifth on the second bar, uh, the downbeat of the second bar, which the fifth is is pretty consonant, obviously to you know, to uh, um, to the to any scale, I guess. Uh, to any any chord, I don't talk real smart for a professor. I promise it's it's a little embarrassing. Hopefully you get something out of it anyway. But um, so B flat, uh, B flat C, da, da, da. so boom, boom. all that's in the scale of E flat until da, da, um, da, da. Now you can tell also the um, A natural was kind of leading into uh, this next downbeat also, even though it's not a B, you know, B it's not a chord of B flat there. So. That, that's the process. Like here, I, I did an eighth note thing just to get it boom, ba, boom, and it's just so, so, so it's dum, 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 dum. I needed to get to G minor. I could have just jumped um, dum, uh, dum, dum, dum. I could have could have done that move. Dum, dum, dum. But it just it wasn't as smooth, and I hadn't played the part. I hadn't played the card yet of bass doing dum ba dum that kind of thing. So it seemed it seemed doable. But you see how this rest of it works? Whole step into it, half step in uh, half step into the G minor, half step down here, half step here, and then boom boom boom. It's so a one, two, three, five, one, flat seven, you know, six, five, one, and out, boom, boom. We don't have a new note for uh, you know on this F. It's going from F thirteen to F minor. So because it's not a new one, I don't feel super responsible for uh, doing a, a, a half step or whole step move into the new bass note. So I just did 5-1 there, and hopefully that's cool. Boom, boom, whole step in, half step in. 
uh, eh, here, this just breaks it up a little bit. It breaks my rule a little bit. I could, I just didn't want to go. I just didn't want to do that because. Okay, and then here I'm going into stop time, so it's not necessarily walking anymore. So that's that's your answer to that. Um, uh, and it's pretty much it. I mean, when you buy that Gary Lindsay book, which you should just buy anyway, um, and I'm talking specifically to my future vocal jazz arranging student, and next semester uh, she'll be in uh, an arranging class with uh, my colleague Eric Applegate, who's awesome. And uh, so he'll have you buy that book anyway. Uh, so it's from Gary, it's lindsayjazz.com. And uh, link in the description. No, not really. I just wanted to sound like a YouTuber. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and write some voicings. Hey, what time is it? How long have you been doing this? I'm gonna write some voicings for the group. Um, uh, uh, where they've just come from. Let's see. considering possibilities, uh, I kind of want to, well, I don't have to stay in three-part girls. I think I can go to, you are welcome, you are welcome, Carla. Um, I can go to, um, yeah, I can go to chordal harmony here, and it's going to look okay. Where do the guys come from? Yeah, they're in a good spot for this. So again, before you even write it in, got to gotta look back at, um, got to look back and see what the voicing is going to be like. Is that pretty singable, and it, it seems to be. Hey, McFly. Uh, Carrie, you visited my school in uh, Nequa Valley. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Ryan School. I love that. I'm um, in Illinois. Adore your music, uh, in, uh, your music and skills. Thank you so much for sharing your talent with so many. You're so welcome. Yeah, I'm uh, very, very happy to do it. Um, so this is... That's awesome, man. I had a great time out there. It's a, it's a good... Uh, Good program, really amazing, beautiful school, my God. Yeah, it's very fortunate to be in a place where you can have a school like that, it's so great. Yeah, 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 so I'm gonna just write some voicings, let's just do it. Um, and to Carly and anybody else who's kind of doing a ranging study as you're doing this, I'm gonna push through a little faster than to say, here's exactly how I find all these voicings. Uh, that would just take a long time. <laughs> um, one exception, I'll I mean, maybe I'll give some other exceptions, but just basically, let's talk about these first two, and then generally I, I got a writer, it's going to take forever. Um, so this first one, fifth in the lead, the, in, in four-way close voicings, the next thing you would normally do would be to write, um, uh, so to write the third below that, so five, three, root, seven, in that order is usually what you do in four-way close writing. And then it's not always those notes, sometimes it's substitute notes, tension notes uh, that, that you write instead of, say, the root, you write the ninth instead. So that, that's a thing, right? So five, the third, though, is down here. And so that's what we call drop two. I've dropped the second note down, drop two, okay? So I've got five, and then I've dropped two. I have the ninth, which is, like I said, just just then, this is a sub for the root, sub for one. Um, and uh, so it's five, drop the two, that's the G, uh, drop it in octave, and, and that's just how you spread out the voicings a little bit. Also, chordal harmony just sounds good, generally. I mean, it just sounds jazzy, and uh, <laughs> it gives it's singable, it's open enough. Um, so five, drop the three, Nine is sub for the one, and then the seven is here, and we're actually we don't have a major seven in this chord. Instead, we have the six. Uh, so really, this is an E flat six nine chord. Then the G is the third. We skip the root, and we or we don't skip it. We drop it an octave. Should be an E flat, but again ninth in the basses um, as a sub for that one. So that's the dropped two. Third note down would be the seventh. It just is. Uh, I didn't change it this time to the sixth. Uh, could do, but um, also very happy to just have it be a major seventh. There's no reason not to. Uh, it also kind of continues the feeling of fourths, and so there's there's some consistency there. So seventh, and then um, uh, the fifth would be the next thing that we need in the chord, right? We said three root seven five. So that fifth is just the fifth in this case, um, because if I didn't do that, it makes for some more weird voice leading uh, instead of uh, so. And so I'm just going to repeat that. 
Because definitely, why not? Now, um, what do we do here? Do we just and all of the Hutch kids are like, okay, we're not going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to be that mean and cruel to you. Um, because I know Neil can say all the right things to encourage you guys to work on your parts and learn it and it'll happen. But I don't think that's what this chart needs. It needs mobility with a line like this. So, and then we need to hit that. Uh, and then we'll decide on, but I believe we kind of know already what is going to happen here. I think we're going to, we're going to use the same voice. Okay. This is a this is going to be kind of a stock five note voicing voicing for D thirteen, uh, and it works. So again, checking voicing that, that works okay um, for the basses. Tenors are used to grabbing that kind of a note, so that's going to work okay for them. Um, and then what else? The gals are doing. Um, well, that's why we audition you on that kind of stuff, altos. Um, <laughs> pretty straight ahead. And, and that's the melody. So I think we should be able to get into that. Let's just hear how that comes together. Okay. It is almost time for another... Oh my gosh, it's gonna be gross. Excuse me. My, um, <laughs> I thought I would have a snack real quick. Uh, and I'm not going to because I didn't know that if they were out of the fridge for a while, these things got too soft. I mean, yeah, these fat bombs I, I have for my keto diet. Um, keeps me not too hungry, actually. My energy's way, way up um, from, from doing that, I've done that stuff since like about 95 on and off, um, back when it was just the Atkins diet. Okay, so then what happens here? Um, what what this this chord probably want, I want to use an approach technique, and, and um, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna have everybody approaching by a half step. Um, into this chord, everybody in the same direction. Same direction, both from half step below, moving up into it. So we've got, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's okay voice lady. Now, uh, we've got three part gals. Uh, I don't know exactly how to handle this yet. Uh, I don't think this is gonna be a, I don't think this is parallel. What would happen if it were parallel? Nope. No, that would that'd be, that's, that's rough. Um, it would have a fourth on the dominant chord, that's no good. Um, seventh is in the chord, uh, I mean, it's in the lead, so. Mm -hmm. Oh. I don't like that at all. Uh, yeah, I don't like my options. Hmm. Makes me want to just go unison, 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 and then chords after that. But um, like all this unison. But I'm, I'm gonna try not to. It's okay. I can't. It can't be too many other things. But if I could get the bases on like the 
A or something. Um, Yeah, I'm trying to avoid repeats if possible. It's not looking possible. I think this is going to have to be, I mean, it's moving a little bit, so I guess it's okay if this is kind of. And then right away, I've got the same thing. I guess it's enough melody notes changing. Um, oof. just I'm not loving it. I, 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 and, and so my inclination here is to try to keep, ooh, ooh, ooh is this done? Everything's really smooth. Yes, it's done. Uh, now I'm not going to upload it uh, yet. Uh, so this will, this video will be coming out before, um, yeah, this this you'll see this video up before uh, the the part where I wrote the intro. That's I think going to be interesting enough. It's weird that it ends. It's gonna there's no production on it at all. <laughs> um, it's just start to you know it just goes for about ninety minutes and then there's no uh, no conclusion. I just randomly stopped, so it's gonna seem weird. But I'll just leave it. Um, I don't. Uh, I really don't know for sure about this. Um, I guess it's good that they're moving. I just, it's kind of unswinging, I think. Um, hmm. The voice setting's all pretty easy. I guess I shouldn't complain. So I'll do the same thing here. Yeah, I'm. I'm and then this, okay, first of all, that, get rid of the chords. Um, this has to be... It might be two parts. Um, so... so. That'd be interesting. So for that, <laughs> nothing sounds right. The, the time is so messed up right now. Okay, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do kind of a parallel treatment here. Uh, Why is that weird? Oh, because it's freaking natural. Uh, no. Is there something wrong with this? Oh no 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 no! It was an A natural. Uh, that's that was that was fine. Oh, difference is that it's going to F thirteen. So actually, this is. I do not know how these chords are going to end up working. Um, uh, that is to be determined. Um, uh, okay, first of all, I can't write the approach chord, which I've tried to do already here on the end of four without knowing what the landing chord is, so let me just figure that out. Um, Okay, that's kind of hip. I think that's gonna work. So it's a different approach. Um, ah, not uh, like a not a really ideal sounding voicing for a dominant chord, um, but in context, and then the fact that we can go to this cluster, with pretty good voice leading. I like. Um, so I need to move up into this. 
So that needs to be my voice in here. Um, I'm going to call these sharps and natural so it goes well. And then check the voice lighting. Seems like it'll work. Um, hmm. And then this is the same D. Oh, which I already kind of did. I kind of call it a G sharp. Huh. I'm going to have to restart this at some point. Um, I would need to restart the program because it's just the, I think it'll sound, the, the, the rhythms will sound smoother eventually. Shiny Tyranitar reversal says, I'm telling you, I don't get embarrassed about my Pokemon Go interest. <laughs> Julia and I play, we love it, so much fun. Um, never, ever, ever thought I'd be getting into it because I wasn't into it in school. Uh, I wasn't into Pokemon, you know, as a kid or anything like that. I didn't play it on Game Boy, all that. So I'm a, uh, I'm a late entry into that world. All right, so let me put... I think this is all going to be on a, on a rhythmic. Um... So, um, all right, something else happens here. <laughs> you can tell. And, and uh, the reason for that is this. Uh, the, the C, the low C is like, okay, that's not a tenor note anymore. And they've all just gone boo -dee -dee. So I've set this up to where they can start here. And then, yeah, let's give them their own line. Well, Ooh, is it just that easy? I have an opportunity to just join them back into the line pretty easily. But I feel like... I want to try some two-part writing here. And then I could come back up. Yeah. Let's see. Huh. Bear with me here. So, so are we going to do something a little different, maybe? And go sharp 11. Yeah, and uh, have a higher inversion of the, the uh, third and seventh. I think we will do. And so we've broken it up a little bit by doing a, a counter line ish for the guys. It's right, doing that move and ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. We join in, it splits, which we will like. That should be fun. Those chords will, those chords should be kind of fun. Um, just popping out of, out of the unisons. Uh, this is, uh, in, uh, I gotta do another sort of uh, two part kind of writing with the guys to keep them up in the right register, but go to, yeah, two, two parts on this, on these two notes, and then something. Gotta figure that out. I might, I might even, I might even unsquare that rhythm too. Yeah, let's see. Um, so goes to. Yeah, we can do this because. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cluster half step against the lead. Sometimes that's that's not the greatest. 
but I think I can see. Let's do this. So. Not changing the world here. Also thinking about maybe writing this as a six. No, that really makes it feel like it wants. I mean, this is F minor, so if, if, if I have the if a six voicing, a minor six voicing, it really indicates that that's really strong indication there. So no, no good there. Um. Zoom. And then how do I make the altos not awkward? Hmm. I don't really make them not awkward. It's just, it's an alto line. It is what it is. Isn't that right, Bailey? And who else joined me <laughs> earlier? Kincaid. And wait, there's a was there a guy watching too? Oh god, Kincaid. Is that <laughs> I can't <laughs> I can't tell. Okay, anyway. Sorry, I'm being awkward again. So um Okay, what's our goal? What's our goal for that? Do you want to hear the whole thing? Up to this point before we write this? Let's just let's go back and recap where we are. Neil! Neil! What's up, dude? How are you, my friend? Neil Ossip is hanging with us, and he's, uh, he's the guy who's he's the guy paying for all this business. Why am I getting... I'm still getting the guys... Okay, I gotta fix that. They, I, I swear, if you watch back on this, you... Oh, you no, 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 I know what happened. I haven't played it since I, I changed... Um, I changed bass class staffs, staves. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah this will work. Oh, that's why it wasn't sounding good earlier. Sticks there basically is what's happening. Um, oh, and I, I should play the rest of it. Anyway, we're on sticks. Oh, there's Kobe. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, then something else happens there. So. There's, that's where we are, right? Um, roughly, um, and things can change. Um, likely, the way they would change at this point, if you know, from in this section, uh, is just to make it more. Um, uh, <laughs> um, is, is to add maybe some complexity or some some stuff like that, uh, that or you know, just some more interesting, fresh, new things, something like that. It, it just depends as we go. Uh, we'll s I've got I've got a sort of mental budget. Um, for that kind of thing. Um, what happens in this bar? Dang, you got. Seriously, what happens in that bar? Because. I don't remember. I don't remember what I'm going to do there. Anyway, uh, I just distracted everything. Um, I don't usually write a lot of drums this early. Uh, dang it. 
uh, so, uh, but um, I am, I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do here. Oops. Wait, why did that come up that way? Oh, I see. So that's why we're seeing some drums happening. Neil says, yeah, I came in from work in the flower garden, building fence. Oh my God, is it 90 out? It's not quite that hot here, but wow. I'd rather be uh, <laughs> inside watching your mad skills. Well, it will be available, my friend, immediately as soon as I'm done. Um, I think it's what it's, it should be recording. If it's not, um, if, if YouTube doesn't keep it, I think it keeps a string. Um, for some reason it doesn't, I'll, I'll upload it uh, later for folks who are interested then. Okay, so now drums, yeah, I, I really am just deciding to write this in chunks, I guess. Uh, so, let's see. Um, this can all just walk. In fact, I need to tell him that. Uh, walk. Um, tell them that down below the staff and in a smaller font or typeface. Uh, <laughs> by the way, Kobe, yeah, Kobe thinks that you say, you're right, altos are awkward. Right? They're, they're great, though. I, I dig, I, I dig some altos, man. The altos, uh, well, th there can be some, there can be geeky sopranos and any part, uh, but uh, you really, you gotta be into this stuff if you're an alto. <laughs> you really, really gotta be into it. Um, and you gotta be into it for any of this stuff. This is so niche right? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't think the piano's really gonna play it like that. They're gonna do that. Um, how do I get them to, st how do I get your drummer to sticks? I just need to encourage them to kind of gradually pick them up, pick up sticks. Uh, two sticks. So, um, okay, and then I'll, I'll comp and it'll, it'll be hopefully smart comping choices that I make there that work well in the context of this. Now finally we get to um, this. I, I want to write this next. Uh, I don't know exactly what's happening with rhythm section in this spot yet. <laughs> Neil says, I married an alto. She's an angel. Absolutely. Well, thankfully my super, super high soprano is also a crazy low alto also <laughs> at the same time. And uh, so best of both worlds on my end too. I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. Um, <laughs> I married an alto. I married. That's great. Um, let's see. So, what is this? Uh, do 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 do. Oh, Neil. Um, yeah, that intro. Do you? Are you? Are you down with that? Uh, I know this looks really, really weird. You'll see in the video that I end up uploading of the intro writing process uh, from last night. That um, I really. I mean, it, uh, the first. Just using that. Um, means that you're going to be using some really a whole lot of accidentals. I don't know if it's better. It's not really a key that we're in. I just wanted to um, eventually I'll probably decide that this was a dumb move and go ahead and allow for the tons of accidentals in the first three bars in order to not do this move. In fact, I think I've talked myself into it as I've sat here. <laughs> Neil said I can't remember. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. All right, so I, I, I think maybe I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Uh, I disagree with myself from last night. I'm going to fix this. I'm going to go ahead and B in. We're just so back and forth. I mean, D sharp anyway is weird to say, but um, it gets in this, uh, it gets in a mode like, getting, I mean, you're not going to have G flat minor 11. I just don't want to, all the implications are pretty gross, but back and forth between sharps and flats for over a long period of time, I didn't like either. But I'm not I'm not digging what's happening with all this stuff. So um, so this is actually what's going down here. I'm just gonna couldn't leave it in E flat. But anyway, I'm hoping that you like the intro. I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna play it and then I'll fix it in our minds. And 
I don't know what the syllables are yet, but... That's the gesture. Um, that's the notion uh, I had about what to do at the beginning. All right, man. Uh, I'm just. I'm. This just is making my eyes bleed to see D, uh, D sharp, seven sus. Uh, so what do I change? Oh, baseball chord text. So now I have to decide: Do I let you read E flat to F sharp? All that. I totally trust you. My kids are up for anything. I know they are. I'll kick them right in the back. So. <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and let people deal with flats to sharps. God, that sucks, though. Because it would be so much easier if, to read if it's like, maybe I'll just do that. That's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're reading a chord, you see it that way. Otherwise, uh, like the bass part won't see it that way. Uh, Respell chord text. I will, though, give him, and I know it's a him, I know the bass player, unless there's a change. Um, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, 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 that looks okay. So tons of accidentals here for a little bit. Um, I could, yeah, I think I'll leave it. I'll leave it, I'll leave it, I'll leave it. Uh, so a chance, see, I don't think it would look good as D flat seven because the, this would be A flat and that looks really close to the B natural. So I think this is the way I'll leave this and then let B, G, 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 G. okay, fine. Moving on. So after, uh, at the end of the head end, just need to write this, uh, uh, the, sh um, the send off. So what would be nice is to know where this is going. So now I need to get creative and set the piano. So, so uh, I was about to tonicize something I don't want to tonicize. Um, I know what this is. This is just like E flat six nine. Um, this is probably uh, probably uh, you know B flat thirteen sharp eleven. But it is. Uh, and from there, I don't know. Okay, so but that's that's where I gotta get to. Um, I really like that surprise going to the C Aeolian there or the, the A flat to over C. So I'm 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 gonna probably stick with that. Let's see. Um, I'll go to B natural. This is what I had improvised just now. Yeah, something that. Well, and I can change this melody line. Uh, that was arbitrary at the time. But yeah, two, five, one. I think I just, I want to go ahead and ba do da 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 ba do da Sometimes I forget that I have choice. I forget that on these figures that, that um, aren't from the original, and I'm really not beholden to anybody uh, to, to use them. Um, just gonna let the bass keep a little rhythmic energy going uh, until that point. Okay, so that much we know. Now, what is this? Um, so uh, let's see. 
Sounds pretty good going to like uh, B13 sharp 11. Sounds pretty good going to um, F minor. That never mind that G flat in the melody because it's or the D flat in the melody that's going to change. Uh, F minor something nine whatever. Um, <laughs> So it doesn't, it doesn't land. It doesn't land. It doesn't land. It's a big old crescendo. <laughs> As I was saying, it's a big old crescendo. Again, I'm only writing that dynamic in now because uh, I, uh, it's, it's, it's an idea that I just want to make sure I have together. And then... And like a beat to, I mean, again, I'm, I'm thinking big band on this, so. Uh, um, big, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, Sopranos. Gals, are you Sopranos? I'm. <laughs> you happy with a big send off, big send off B flat, which also is going to mean that this repeated section I'm going to have to say like first time only. Backgrounds probably start late into it or something. It's going good. Oh my gosh, I'm happy with how things are going today. How long have I been? How long have I been doing this? Uh, oops, that's not that. Hey, this is fun, you guys. I'm having a good time today. Um, hour 40, solid. See, that's what, man, that's how this can go. <laughs> uh, it can, it can go well when I, uh, when I do this live streaming thing. As fast, as, it's pretty fast. I feel like, I've, you know, to get through the head, uh, in, in three hours is pretty quick because the rest of the chart, uh, should come together. I've been, I usually say it takes about eight hours or so to, to write a chart in that, I think that's the pace this is on, frankly. So now, um, well, is there any chance that F minor, instead of doing F minor, you do uh, D, D flat over F? Uh, There's just no benefit. Nobody gains from that. And you just think they're ta da, and then uh, soloist, you know, so soloist, um, in other words, singing. Oh boy, if they can sing the whole turnaround, that would be pretty sick. Um, Actually, I, it's totally doable, but um, I think better to write it. They can do whatever they want because it's just going to be, you know, it's plain. It's a, a plain 2 5. Um, and bam! Uh, and they will be back singing the head here. So this is. Um, yeah, solo it can be whatever. I mean, instrumental solo is fine. Whatever somebody wants to do. Um, just write solo break because that'll be nice and exposed. Let's see, yeah, Groove and High does that. That's that's what the recording does. 
Um, da, um, like, so I have them speed or cut off. I mean, I think they'll know. They'll know what to do. Okay, let's write some chords. Um, What's our landing chord? Let's get the biggest one together first. No surprise on this chord because third and seventh in the guys, girls are upper structure triad, UST for the win. Um, and then. figure this out. Uh, what to do, how to get into that. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what to do. Okay, I got it, I got it, but I don't want to forget it. Um, easy enough, right? Um, two part gals to start. That's fine. Um, I feel like the big note should be the one that suddenly goes to three part girls rather than blah, 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 four and both of them, so. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I know, eh, I, I've got a fix to make, um, but. Oh, yeah. Uh. I've got another possibility here too. Um, could do that, and even could find a note for them to sing here. Um, so that's or actually, yeah. Let's let's just. Let's just fill it all up with stuff. Now, uh, I changed my mind. Oh, well, I had changed my mind, but about what to do with the tenors. pretty clearly. Okay, uh, landing chord here, so writing backward again. Um, uh, B13 sharp, a little, uh, well, what is that? Um, I'm like embarrassed to play the wrong, a bad voicing first. Why should I be embarrassed? Uh, I think Third and seven. Uh, yeah, it might, it might not have to be that. Let's see. I can go ahead and throw the ninth for the tenors. Um. <sighs> uh, shoot. Uh, yeah, I'll let this be called all the flat things. Okay. Well, I'm thinking, we'll just put this stuff down here. Um, hey, by the way, hi, if I haven't had, uh, said hi to you yet or whatever, uh, if you haven't been in the chat, uh, you don't have to, you can lurk, it's totally cool. But um, I'm very, very happy that you're watching. Anyway, just uh, the, the, I've got 11 folks, it says, watching live, which I've got a window open. So that might just really be 10. I'm so happy to have you though. Um, and it's been really fun just to see the, uh, you know, so I've got one of my uh, current students who's on uh, break. I've got the director of the group who's been checking it out. Uh, you know, the group that I'm writing this for. Got, uh, I think, three of the students and, uh, and a few students from other schools. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, thank you for hanging out. You don't even have, I mean, I'm gonna be a YouTuber. 
if you really, if you, if you want to get better notifications, obviously you know the thing to do, right? If, uh, if you want to ever see these again, maybe this is the last time you ever want to see it, but if you do want to see this again and know when it's going live so you can interact, um, I think you know what to do, right? The, uh, you hit subscribe to the channel, actually, to my channel, if you're like to do that, and then hit that, hit the bell. Do I have to say smash? No, I hate that. And don't, you don't have to smash the like button. <laughs> God, <laughs> that part, I don't, that, 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 those are some gross memes. I don't like that. Um, so what really is this A flat 2 over C going to sound like now? Um, because it's going to... See, there's a reason it's two. You have the two in there usually. <laughs> so is it going to be... I'm going to kill the tenor, make him do that. No, I don't really like that. Oh. And then... Oh, so much better. So much better, that voicing. Hector, hello. Hey, Hector F. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. It's just a crazy day of vocal jazz arranging. So niche this stuff. So niche This is not Fortnite. I'm, I'm not going on to play. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play PUBG instead. So, um, so. I kind of don't want to have... I don't want to... I don't want to bust this out from unison. I've, I've done plenty of that. I think, uh, yeah, I want to see if I can write voicings on this stuff. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it does go good coming from unison. Oh, yeah, big screaming thing there. Okay, so you can see where that's going. Um, yeah, let's try to write some chords. I don't yet know how to get into this, but it does seem like it's going to need to be a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... It seems like all I've got... Close, close position so that um, the way it's spreading out, they're not going too far. Sopranos move the most, but they've got the melody, so. Ugh. Not a strong landing, that D7. So. Is it better not to do the, should I just do E minor? I'm happy with that. That's okay. So what's the the buddy da then that then? Um because I might be doing approach technique with that. I have to drop something to drop three maybe? No, because it's terrible voice waiting for the guys. Could get away with dropping two, I think. Let me just finish this uh, before. Well, I, I'm gonna drop two, so. Oh, it's actually really good. It's really good for the uh, altos, it's helpful. Cool. So, this looks like something I could bust into the end of two from the octaves. But Okay, 
Okay, so. Yeah, it might be better. Actually, it's not it's not better necessarily. I think we can do it. We can get us into it. Let's see what the uh, approach. Um, let's see. Half step approach will be um, will be here. Let's see if I can make this make sense. And then um, it's a half step approach. Everything moves the same direction, same distance by a half step or whole step. Doesn't uh, well th this kind of approach. Approach technique uh, can be more multifaceted than that. Um, you can do dominant chords, diminished chords, or you can write it diatonically, which I, diatonic I never really like, because it really helps the voice leading, but, uh, and, unless it does, but I don't really like it usually. Um, but uh, I just rely for vocal charts, and I recommend to my students that they rely both, mostly on parallel, um, things, things that move in parallel, same distance um, and same direction, uh, so and and half step or whole step. It can't be more than that because it's not an approach chord if you're moving further than that. Just so you know. So um, so um, oh, it's actually way easier than I thought. Way easier. Um, yeah, that particular, that particular voicing makes total sense. It's right there, I think. Um, so good. Um, blee 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 blee. Okay, that's it. We have uh, the head of the tune done. Um, we have, uh, let's see. Uh, I know that I'm writing a big, uh, let's see, I need to write solo break in everybody else's parts too. Uh, this is gonna get this solo break is gonna get screwed up when I. Well, no, 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 it won't. It's it's empty. I'm not gonna copy anything over it. Okay, um, and then bow. Uh, this needs to just be. I'm just gonna do something real quick. This is called uh, make pitches constant, and another point. So pitch B. Actually, it's gonna be G. It's gonna be in the fifth thing. Is the style note normal? Move the notes together. Fill the things with the stuff and do a quarter hundred and with the style note head B without stem and blah. Okay, cool. And that's how you make that. Um, then you say, oh gosh, that is not what I wanted. Um, but what is the thing that I want? How do I select that? Uh, oof. What is the short? It's been too long, you guys. I'll get this back. Um, what is my shortcut for filtering out voice one? It is, it looks like it's the three, combination of three things in one. Oh, it worked. Okay, so I accidentally pulled something up. That's, that's fine. Um, I do that, and then I do this to call it a Q, and bow, and then this is super loud. Double forte, wow! Uh, you know, you can decide whether you want to fall on that. I, I, I mean, we'll have to decide something for the demo, but you may have the chart learned before we have the same demos here. I'll talk to you about that later. Uh, we're doing, doing a thing where it's right, 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 for the most part, um, and then record at the end of the whole process, if possible. Um, we may try to sneak yours in sooner, though, since you guys are on it. There's some good reasons for that, but it's complicated. <laughs> Not for here to discuss. Uh, so let me then grab, let's see. Oh, I haven't made a set of changes for, I've got the ding dong. I can't get the door at the moment, really. Um, I guess, can you hang in there? Like, like, get the door? <laughs> Sorry.
Well, with a salesperson at the front door, it is nice at least to have the excuse of uh, I'm doing a live stream on YouTube for some very important people. Um, <laughs> so, uh, thank you. You guys got me out of what's Ion. He wanted to sell me Ion. I don't know. So, um, let's see. What do I want to do first? I think I want to move the, I'm going to throw the changes in the solo section. I'm on fire, guys. I'm, <laughs> I'm moving quick to, today on this stuff. Um, uh, not, this, this for me, this is not dawdling around. This is actually reasonable speed of getting through something. So, put a bunch of changes. Um, and then, grab the proper core changes from I didn't write them all in yet that's the thing I haven't I haven't done all of them so I need to fill in some of the gaps uh, I need to get it to to the that no let's see the the changes do this they'll, they'll keep these changes and then they break off from there in the, in the second part. Ah, crap. So, um, can't see what I'm doing. Okay. <clears throat> Avon calling, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah my, say I'd be okay with Avon. My mom will work for Avon for a while, although I think they, maybe it's not a good company. <laughs> I think, I think, we discovered we, we we sort of ended up deciding that I think it preys on uh, preys on older gals or something. You know, I, I didn't say that. Avon, if you want to sponsor me, go ahead. Uh, let's see. Oh, did I did give you? I hope you're okay going six parts. I'll bet you are. Um, but this is where I need them. six parts for the guys I just need the tenors to be up on a G so yeah and then quarter right know what I did uh, yeah that was it. okay everybody likes a beat to uh, after a solo break big band entrance um, or a you know, send off. Okay, so then that that happens, and uh, I do actually need to write. I need to write some uh, walking bass. So. Major seven, um, two minor seven. Mm -hmm. See, the really, uh, I don't have this written in anywhere because we didn't use it in the first half of the, the head end. 
Um, instead, we did a, a different thing, just some octave uh, business. Uh, octaves and brushes, bass with the vocals. Um, F minor 7. Yeah, and I can actually do the tritone sub here. Like if, it's in the uh, the real book version of the tune, um, or you know that that it does a tritone sub there. I am gonna trust that implicitly. Okay, then I need the real changes of the actual end of this tune, but I could go ahead and steal the second half. So. Uh, So um, I just need to turn this into, actually I just need to make this normal. Um, sorry, it did get boring, I, I agree. Uh, I just felt everybody out there going, okay. I, I guess I can't really guarantee that I'm gonna be able to <laughs> always be interesting. I hope I can. Uh, and then it goes, yeah, it's really going to go to E flat. E flat's a rough key to write in. Um, if you're writing a bass line, it just makes you feel sad all the time that it can never drop the, you know, the low thing. Unless, you know, they tune down, but you don't want to ask them to do it. Oh no! Do, do. Oh no! No, there's a turnaround. Um, so, uh, so it goes. Uh, do, 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 do. That we can use. Da, do. And then presuming that doom 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 is what happens after that. So there's a solo section the bass line, except I need to finish uh, and repeat. Um, need to fix these changes. This is E flat. Um, you know, just six really, right? Uh, G flat seven. I kind of do want to call it that, I think. Um, F minor 7 to E7. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Um, bloop, bloop, bloop. So I didn't finish this. Okay, that's right. Uh, that octave move, Carly, if you're still on, uh, that octave move is another thing you can do with the bass line. Um, boom, boom, boom. Uh, and honestly, doubling up, doom, 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 doom. Like, uh, I, that's not in the Lindsay book necessarily, but I, of course he knows that. And, um, you know, just I've, I've kind of learned that from the, my bass player students <laughs> over the years. Um, doom, 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 doom. Kind of works well to do, do just arpeggiate it up and then do, 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 do. yeah. Cool. So here's what the bass line sounds like um, all together. Actually, let me throw the changes on it from the vocal part. It's actually why I threw the vocal part in first, except I did them on the second half. Uh, is to try to get those changes that I hadn't done. I can actually swap changes bass up to the vocal part. How you guys doing? Hanging in there? If you have questions, let me know. I'm happy to talk, as you may have noticed. Um, totally happy to um, try to answer any of your questions about anything. Um, just related. No, politics, whatever. <laughs> we'll talk about it all. All right. Um, kind of didn't mean that just now. Let me play everything um, from the beginning. Take a little.
mental break. This is a challenge of blowing. This was like the first thing we did in, in my arranging or in my uh, improv class uh, that I took. The first improv class I ever took was in grad school um, at uh, UNT with uh, Mr. Steinel. And uh, yeah, but this is the first time he put into our arranging class to learn. I think I was only accidental that I didn't like it. I was going to look at some of the uh, this opening, make sure that I had all the accidentals. Uh, those are those are okay. I kind of kind of like one. I kind of wanted that. Maybe even that's better. It makes the line look a little smooth. Yeah. I mean, going down a half step in that way is, is it reads really well because, you know, if you read G and then you read G flat, there's no wondering whether the first one was a G flat, right? So that's, I think, why it's easier to read. But um, I also like the kind of flow of the line and uh, visually, uh, I don't know. I, I, there's got to be, I know there's rules. There are rules to this. And as a, you know, arranging teacher, I should most likely know exactly what the specific rules for publication are. It's, well, as a publisher. Um, so I maybe have <laughs> let that go a little bit. Um, but um, I like to make my charts look nice. And I, that's sort of been, uh, in a lot of ways, intuitive to me. Um, and not necessarily researched as it probably should have been. Okay, so I've cleaned that up uh, a little bit while I rambled on and self-deprecated. Um, now let's let's tell the drummer what to do in the intro real quick. Um, so this is uh, these are all. Um, that's the Price is Right rhythm. Um, yeah, these are all rhythmic notation hits because rhythmic notation represents to the drummer that they should, if they've been playing time, stop what they're doing uh, and hit exactly what, you know, hit the kit some in some musical way on these figures and maybe fill in between them, probably. Um, but you wouldn't write slashes with cues on top for these because... Uh, if the bass is bass is not, I mean, if the bass is playing with the uh, the vocals and the piano is going to be, you know, oh, it's going to be nasty with the piano. Um, piano's going to be playing with them too. Uh, then, yeah, the drums playing time sounds really weird. Um, so, uh, letting them know, just fill in between hits, and they can always do great with that. So like here, the drummer, here she will know 
like they'll know to fill that up because it just is awkward. Do da, you know, we, we need actually the time in some way. Um, now I think um, I think I might be in time. Uh, what do we do here? I actually don't know. Yeah, actually, this is a little different. I'm going to say that it seems to me that the bass doesn't need to be walking. Mike Stanhill, also from Kansas, very good point. Absolutely. Um, the um, bass doesn't have to be walking for time to be in. I'll try to use some text for the drummer so they know uh, what to do. And let me finish the process on this because I think I'm done now writing rhythmic notation for this section, and then it looks like this. <laughs> Wrong hotkey. Again, this is the first chart of the new season for me, so <laughs> definitely out of practice. God, I'm wearing my voice out. It's okay. You guys are worth it. I need to get a better mic. I need to put a mic in this room um, so that... Uh, I'm not being so, oh, well, it just will sound better to you. Um, I presume you guys can hear the computer audio. God, can you hear the computer audio? When I play, like when I play this, does this sound pretty clean to you? My chat friends, is that, is that sounding okay to you? Man, I would hate to think that's coming through the microphone or something. That should just be straight from the computer to you. So um, I'll find out in a little bit. I think we're on a bit of a delay with one another. Um, if it seems like it took me a while to respond to, to something you guys wrote. <laughs> um, I think I will, yeah, I'm gonna do this. This is all gonna be Q notation. So Q notation, I just grab the, um, if you want a Sibelius tip or whatever, um, I just grab everything, all, all the rhythms that I want to eventually be there. Oh. Uh, Bailey says you can hear it fine. Cool. Thanks, Bailey. Um, beep bop boops. Uh, so I, you grab all that, you pull it down, and then um, Mike Ortiz says yes. Thanks, Mike. Uh, then you do this. Uh, I've created a hotkey for make pitches constant. I, should, I just did it a little earlier, but um, for me, I, I created one that when I mash that uh, mash that hotkey combination, it brings up this dialog box that says transpose notes in what which voice? Well, voice one. Those are the blue ones. To which pitch? Well, in this case, I'm going to want them on G. It doesn't start like that. You have to change it if you if you miss that. Uh, it starts on B because it thinks maybe you want to do the rhythmic notation that I have. Um, previously. Uh, oh yeah, where is it on the screen? I can't tell, it would be to my right, very far. Anyway, I'm more terrible at that. Um, okay, so it's G in the fifth octave with a normal note head. We're eventually gonna make those Q, note, uh, Q notation, but for right now we just move them. Yes, move rests with the notes. It's like in a couple spots, like these eighth notes, it's good to have it there. Um, it asks, should I fill the section? Yeah, so you fill the, fill the selection with notes of which property as well. Uh, we're going to create notes in voice two below that, so we've got slashes. Um, those are all going to be on a B because we the, the drum set's considered, I should say, like a, a treble clef, even though it has a percussion staff uh, notated, of course, properly. So but yeah, we, it's a B basically because we think of it as treble. Um, in which octave that happens to be fourth octave, uh, quarter note, and uh, that's the note value. And beat without stem is what they call it. If it was beat, that would be rhythmic notation that we just had, like I said, in the first couple bars on this page. Uh, so B without stem does this, and then when I go meh, it comes together like that. I've also got a hotkey then um, that I just reminded myself of for grabbing all of the blue notes, the, um, the not the flat fives, uh, but no, the uh, the notes in that first uh, that first layer. And then I grab those and I go to my keypad and, and create cue notes out of those. It just looks like it looks proper. It looks like drum, you know, what drummers are used to sing. 
Um, so now I'm thinking, I'm actually thinking of having the rhythm section. Go ahead and hit maybe on beat three here. Boom, boop. Um, uh, let's see, boop up. There we go. Um, on the rhythm section, hit on beat three with another D flat. And so then the sopranos are they're on their own for that. It just again seems seems in the tradition uh, in the bebop. I mean, well, in the bebop big band charts. Let's say that uh, tradition. Okay. Uh, never brought these changes down. It's a thing I can do. I'm not writing the piano part right now. I'll do that when I hate myself enough. <laughs> let's let's like, let's even give them uh, accents on this. Uh, so swinging time. <laughs> That's, I, it could be hard for the bass player. So you know, but piano comes in. Ah, altos. You hate this. And then just hang down the octave, don't you think? And then maybe I just don't want you on the F. I am kind of thinking of this as uh, you know the red notes actually like it's an alto staff. It might be an alto staff that I chose and changed it to soprano alto. Um, so yeah, it's, it's probably preset to start saying, Hey, you should stop, you should stop writing alto notes around D, uh, which is kind of true. Um, but I don't know if it's quite worth making them go. Right, you know, now, so here they're going to have to gut out the, the E flat, but we had the kind of an op, we had the, it's not the worst voice landing on the planet. Um, to have them jump there. So I think it's cool. All right, good. So this is just a little bit of like recapping on all this stuff. There's no changes in that whole section, um, but then we sort of start with and it's uh, straight ahead, man. It's swinging, but you know, hopefully fresh sounding and new and all that. Uh, guys, go to the Maybe drum drummer could even uh optional fill optional fill into send off. That should make sense to a drummer. They'll get that. Right? I mean, you could just be like, two, three, four, boom, bang, like that. But even that but it is, a, is a filling into it a little bit. Um, yeah, rather than starting right, right on it really cold. Okay, let's just finish some more things that I can definitely do. Now, all this just, I'll eventually write some backgrounds and they might get cues. In the drummer's part, but really what we're doing, very large, uh, or for, for the most part, is we're going to give the drummer, going to give her some, uh, let's see, eight, God, I have the text, the default text so big in this template, and I kind of, I end up changing it every time. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, that's eight, and we count four, and then, oh, well, of course, 16. Um, so they appreciate that, uh, you know, so that, and, and if it's laid out pretty symmetrically on the page, they'll appreciate that too. 
Absolutely. Um, and then, really, I just need to actually just grab all of this. Oops. Let's grab all that, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that they have the same thing there. Um, your rehearsal letter, they get this. And I don't know what comes after this. Um, but background, certainly, of some sort in this section. Um, backgrounds uh, underneath some scanning. Um, Probably like I, this is the kind of tune where I can imagine you know it's a vehicle tune, so you could run the you could run the backgrounds twice. Uh, you could do you know have two two people take choruses um, like take two people take two choruses on it, and then they uh, and then yeah the backgrounds uh, could be the second time both time or for both people maybe that would work. Um, uh, Time-wise, and, and seem like you're not too stretching too much. And then um, I have, I have to think about what this next section is going to be. Um, the next section gets into something that I deal with in my class, uh, my vocal jazz arranging class, a lot. You know, and we just call them developers. Um, I think Paris Rutherford uses that uses that term um, for other people. A lot of other arrangers will use that, or composers will use that. So, developer, some some developer ideas. Um, Oh, in this next section coming out, a developer could be a solely section. Uh, it can be a shout section, um, but it can it can be other lots of other kind of weird things. It can be like an additive, uh, you know, some some sort of figures uh, that are that are additive. You know, um, oh, somebody says something about another one. It is. Thank you, Oscar Schultz. Um, or it could be, yeah. There's all. I mean, there's there's any number of, of things that one might do uh, to develop and get back into some sort of a, a head out. Um, and I don't know what that's going to be yet. I don't want to quote whispering. I just honestly don't want to deal with licensing a medley. Ugh. I mean, it seems like it'd be a good idea, but. I just don't want to quote it, whispering. Uh, yeah, I mean, whispering is the the tune that this is a contrafact on. If you didn't know that, so I, if I if I take a look, if if whispering is public domain, then maybe maybe we'll go that route. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, so we're we're getting started. I'm going to take a break now um, for a little bit, and uh, I'll be back um, a little bit later. But uh, and that and that you know if you. If you're done, my friends who are watching now, um, if you're done uh, <laughs> for the day, I don't blame you. You can always come back and watch the uh, videos when they get um, when, when they're on YouTube later. So, uh, so I'm gonna cut this one for now, this this stream. And uh, again, just want to thank thank you guys for for watching and uh, and uh, participating, texting or you know chatting with me and everything. We'll do another one.